What is going on, you guys? It's your boy Avery here, and smash the ever living boo boo stain hell out of that subscribe and like button because God knows I need it. I would love to be at a thousand subscribers right now so I can feel better about this terrible regional. Uh, so, if you did not see my YouTube short where I said that this is the worst event I've ever been to, I want to be clear I'm not talking about Prodigy Games, the hosts of this regional. They are a fantastic storefront. I have to give a huge shout out to them. Love those guys on over there. They're fantastic. It was more the player base. Um, at this particular regional, it had just over 200 people. It was eight rounds. We went X3 drop. We're going to be getting into that a little bit more in a minute. Um, but basically, there was a lot of rogue and there was a lot of toxicity. Round one, I ended up beating a Vernalizer Earth Fairy Machine deck, which was really dog shit, I might add. Like, it's just... It's not even rogue, it's just dog shit. And um, he ended up having to read Sprite Elf four goddamn times, and he uh, took 15 minutes for his first turn. So then all of that happens, and then he says to me when time is called, do you not have any other plays because you seem to play a little slow? And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? So that was the kind of shit I dealt with all day. I lost to a Sky Striker player in round four, which I'm like, Sky Striker's at 3 0. I'll never fucking understand. Uh, because, as I've said before, that deck's held together with tape, Gorilla Glue, and Mystic Mine, especially Mystic Mine. And he stalled to time and then used Kina to gain 100 life points. So he beat me 81 to 8,000. Yeah, we called a judge on that shit. We had 30 seconds left in the round. He goes, Oh, they just called time. Time's up. And I go, No, we still have 30 seconds to play. And as soon as I raised my hand to call for a judge, he started playing again. Like, a lot of fucking toxicity at this regional. Uh, my third and final loss was to Exosister. My second one was from uh, Tier Elements, which was just bad luck. He, I guess, stacked or just happened to open up with a Pointer of the Red Lotus, and I just lost because of it. So I had a lot of bad luck, too. And then the last round was Exosister. It was just a douchebag guy. Like, he thought he was good, and he was just garbage. I guess he felt bad because his waifus weren't winning him games all day. So he could have cheated me. I, I think he did with the Artemis quick play spell that he couldn't play unless he was under certain conditions. I think he cheated and used that when he couldn't just to say that he beat Sprite. So... You know, it, it is what it is. The players know who they are, especially the one in round one that called me for slow playing, even though he literally took 15 minutes for his first turn in game one and then proceeded to read Sprite Elf four times, and his reasoning was that he had only seen the cards online. I'm going to leave it at that because I've already been heated enough. I broke my thumb, too, by the way. Uh, so that's it's kind of movable, but not really. So I either sprained it or broke it. So, yeah, this, this regional was just... It was toxic. I've never seen so much rogue in one... Uh, regional. It, it was disgusting. So round one, we, we beat that Earth shit. Um, so we were 1-0. Round two, I played against uh, Rika Sun Avalon, which was disgusting. I didn't know what the hell that deck did. Uh, we went into three games on that and tapped that ass. Round three, I 2-0'd Brandon Despia. That was delicious. Round four, we lost to Sky Striker. We were salty the rest of the day. Uh, and then round five, we went three games to tier ele against Branded Sprite Tier Element with Adventure shit. Um, he, he top decked the appointer, it was whatever. And then round three, we had the douchebag Exo Sister player. So, and he was playing Gozen, because apparently Gozen's played in that shit. So, I want to do this deck profile so I can go to bed, because as you can tell, I'm, I'm very tired, and my thumb really hurts. So, we're playing three copies of Sprite, because it's a Stratos, it's really good. I'm not going to explain a lot of this, because this is literally just the same main deck build from my Sprite deck profile from the other day. Three Jet, because it's good. Pixies, because no one reads this shit, and no one knows what it does, and it's amazing. People don't know how to read cards. One Carrot, because it's good. Two Red, because I don't like getting hit with hand traps that I still got hit fucking with all day, because Yu-Gi-Oh's degenerate like that. We're playing three copies of Swap Frog and the Rodentone, because I think the Dark Beckoning Beast engine is ass, and I think the Live Twin build is really inconsistent and horrible. Three copies of this card that everybody just decided to hand trap because they thought they were so good. Uh, and then we're playing three copies of Ash and three copies of Crow because they're good hand traps. <laughs> like, real talk. Uh, and then we're playing three copies of Starter because I need this to win the game. And it also makes me lose in time. One copy of Smasher. We side deck a second one. This card's really good. Three copies of the card that literally won me the game every time I played it. So game two against the tier element player... Um, I go, I made a play, and then he activated a tier element, I think, in hand or some shit. 
we go talents to take his access code. I make gigantic to special summon a monster, and then I go access code banish, pop your Meryl. He goes Meryl effect. I'm like, you can't, bitch, because we're locked under two. So he's like, oh, yeah, huh, I knew that. I'm like, no, you fucking didn't. You're just trying to cheat. <laughs> Like, it's, it's it's comical. We're playing three copies of Dark Ruler because I like breaking boards and it's fun. Uh, and then we're playing three copies of the Broke Ass Super Poly. I actually never got this off all day. It was really depressing because this card's disgusting. One copy of Call By because I always get hand trapped. And then three copies of Imperm because it's a good hand trap. I think that pretty much sums up the format, like, in a nutshell. Like, it, it was just disgusting all day. Like, I, I have no other words to say about this this garbage format. And then for the extra deck, we're playing two copies of Elf because I didn't feel like I needed a third. And honestly, the third wouldn't have mattered anyway because we scrubbed out. Two copies of Gigantic because it's good. One copy of Toad because I'm running the Frog Engine. One copy of Sky Cal that I never got to make Zeus with. I made Zeus once today, actually. So I take that back. This was good for making Zeus. Uh, one Cap Shark. It never went off, but the card's good. Uh, one Downer and one Zeus because it's a good package. And then, here's a bunch of cards I never fucking made. Uh, Access Code and Appalosa, because we're playing Masquerina. Every time I made Masquerina, it got fucking Dark Rulered. The, uh, tier, uh, the, the, what was it? The Tier Element player. Game 1 and 2 opened up Dark Ruler. I'm like, you're just the better player, bro. Like, I just, I can't draw as well as you. And then we're playing one, uh, Dark with a Mud Dragon and Garuda for our Super Poly targets. Uh, for our shitty side deck. We're playing one Pancratops. I'm, I'm throwing this card in the garbage. This needs to be a Red Resonator. Like, honestly. And then we're playing one copy of Twin... Uh, one copy of Feather Duster, two copies of Twin Twister. Yeah, one's gold, one's common. I, I don't care about my rarities. Second copy of Smasher, because it's good. And then this was the main stuff that we actually side decked in. We're playing three copies of Judgment, because it's a good Omni Negate. Three copies of Anti Spell, because this card is so much better than fucking Sphere Mode. I don't know what I was thinking playing Sphere Mode. I'm, I'm gonna go take my bad somewhere else. And we're playing three copies of a Pointer, and it doesn't work like I thought it would. <laughs> and then one copy of a Red Reboot, because it's good. Um, I mean, that's... That's my my deck, I guess. I fucking scrubbed out. I started off 3-0. The best I've ever done at a regional starting off is um, 3-0, actually. And I I went 3-0 when I did 60-card Branded Eldritch at, at Boca Raton, same place. And then we got a draw. Uh, this time we start off 3-0, and then we got three losses in a row. I proceeded to, like, just rage quit and just like leave the venue <laughs> like i don't know how else to explain my day like it was horrible like i don't understand how i can go all the way from table seven and then just rage quitting at table 40 like i don't understand my luck in Yu-Gi-Oh. like i know this deck like the back of my hand i know that it's good i know my matchups but when you stick me in a room with 200 plus people where the only people in the fucking room that are playing meta is like literally me and valley d like, <laughs> I think there was, like, maybe three tier elements players in the whole room. There had to be. Like, the first place deck, I kid you not, the deck that came in first place was a hero deck that main decked rivalry. Like, this is the kind of shit that, like, we're dealing with here. Like, it reminds me of my locals where the hero player uh, makes side deck meta calls for locals. Like, using shit like Lightning Storm and Prohibition calling Fallen Albaz. Like, no one does that unless they're, like, trying hard at locals. Like, it makes no fucking sense to me. So, that that's my regional, guys. Uh, I don't blame the um, the toxic players. Well, I blame the toxic players uh, a, as a big portion for this format being toxic. But, like, all jokes aside, like, I'm not even trying to, like, poke fun here or make jokes. Like, I'm just being genuine here. I also blame you, Konami, because you know that shit needs to be fixed. You know Mystic Mind needs to be banned. I'm not going to fucking argue about it in the comments. Like... I'm sorry if you think Mystic Mind's healthy for the game. I'm being honest with you. It's fucking not. Mystic Mind needs to be banned. Anti-Spell, debatably, may or may not need to be banned. Goes in in rivalry, I feel it's up for debate whether or not they need to be hit. But I feel at this point that there is just so many problems with this format that, like, just to be honest, like, I'm, I'm not going to the main bridge original. Like, I've already decided that. I'm not going to go three hours to fucking Georgia to get my shit pushed in. Because this format's just not healthy. Like, until we get a ban list, I'm really... I feel it's best for, like, I'm not even kidding, like, my mental health to just step away from competitive Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm still gonna make videos. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm gonna still post videos at least every other day, every day, whatever, how it works out. But Konami, you need to fix your shit. Like, I'm not even... 
I'm not joking. I'm not being facetious. Like, in my other videos, I'd be like, yeah, Konami, you know, fix your shit, blah, blah, blah. But no, this is like serious Avery talking. Like, I'm exhausted. I'm tired. I just played in a dog water format. That This format is so bad. And I'm not even going to sit here and beat that horse to death because I just did, like, what six rounds against Rogue basically all day, and I played one meta deck, and it was, no, two meta decks. One was Branded, and one was Tier Element, and I'm pretty sure the Tier Element player stacked. He could have. I don't know. I'm tired as hell. But Konami, just please fix this format. Ban Mystic Mind. B fucking ban it all, please. It's it, it's exhausting. It's tiring, because I love this game, and yet whenever things like this happen, I just get so aggravated and pissed off that I just get so jaded that it, it, it doesn't make the game fun. Like, you can't tell me me playing against Mystic Mind against Sky Striker is fun and then, like, losing even when I have the out because he stalled for time and made Kaina and gained 100 life points and start, just started going into all his Sky Striker links. Like, you can't tell me that we're in a healthy format right now. If Mystic Mind wasn't a thing, I never would have played against Striker. So, anyways, guys, I, I really do appreciate all the support on the channel. I hope you know that. I'm just... I'm disappointed in myself for going 3-0 and then losing the next three in a row because of just things that were outside of my control, whether it was luck or just, like, ha having a bad hand. You know, I never misplayed. I know my matchups. I know how to play my deck. I can... I, I, I was the best sprite player in the room. Like, I know that for a fact. There was no one... Had I played against a sprite mirror, which I didn't all day, had I played against a sprite mirror, I would have beat them all day. I know that for a fact. Because I am the best sprite player I know. And I'm not trying to say I have a big ego when I say that. It's just that I know my shit. I know how to play my deck. I have tested very, very heavily. And I know how to do what I need to do. So, guys, with that being said, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that, uh, you know, you, you stay sub to the channel or you spread the word of the channel. And um, we're, we're going to keep on having fun on this channel. I just, I need a couple days to recharge my batteries and, and come back to center. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.